Hello again everybody and welcome back to my shop. Um, lately I've been turning a lot of ink pens and I have been using a CA glue finish on those pens and I've been showing some non-stick bushings that I've been using. Um, I decided to try to make some of those non-stick bushings for myself. So I purchased this. This is an HDPE rod, high density polyethylene rod. I bought it off Amazon.com. It was a little over $10, let's say $11. It had a free shipping deal and I was purchasing some other items so I didn't pay any shipping. So for $10, I got a two foot rod of HDPE. What I'd like to do today is I'd like to turn some non-stick bushings uh, out of this rod. Before I get started, I wanna take one second and I want to give a shout out to a fellow woodworker. Gentleman's name is Larry. Larry is over at the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Now I will put a link to Larry's YouTube site down in the comments. I'd like you guys to take a moment, go over and check Larry out. He's got some really cool stuff going on over there. And uh, give Larry a like and subscribe to him and uh, follow him. I think he's gonna have a great channel. So let's get right to it. Let's go make some bushings. The diameter on the rod that I purchased was three quarters of an inch. The reason I went with a three quarter inch rod is because in case I don't drill perfectly down the center, I still have plenty of meat to be able to true the bushing up. I've also decided that I wanna cut a three quarter of an inch thick segment or section off of the rod to make my bushing. My thought behind this is my bushing will be a little on the long side, but as it gets chewed up by the inside of my tubes, I can always grab one of my tools and trim the chewed up sec section off and uh, get a little more life out of this set of bushings. So let's go ahead and cut a couple of bushings. I went ahead and cut four pieces, and the reason why I did that is because a standard pin has a, a front and a back half, and I want to be able to put a finish or apply a CA glue finish to both halves at the same time, so I need four bushings. Let's head over to the drill press and get these drilled out. I selected a 7 millimeter drill bit because that is the diameter of my pin mandrel, and I'm basically just going to drill a hole right down through the center of each of these four bushings. Makes a little bit of a mess, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. All right, let's get the other three drilled out. All right, now we have four bushings cut out. Let's get these over to the lathe, get them on the pin mandrel, and let's turn them down into some nonstick bushings. What I want to do now is I just want to take my skew, uh, and I'm going to try to just true these up. You can see. There's a little bit of difference between the two of them because I didn't drill perfectly straight, but I got a lot of meat to play with, so I'm not really worried about that. Now, you might be looking at how I have these positioned on the mandrel. My goal is to turn this one down to this bushing, obviously turn this one down to that bushing, and then do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to be turning toward the center bushing in an effort to uh, make these conical or cone-shaped. I've never turned HDPE before, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out. I'm hoping it's a lot like acrylic. Uh, I've got my lathe turned up. Uh, I think I'm going to take it up a little more than halfway, but not quite wide open. The HDPE is uh, leaving these nice little threads uh, wound around my mandrel. Uh, 
they don't really hurt anything, but they kind of get in the way of seeing what you're doing. So I'm going to pull them off. I've just about, this one here feels perfectly round. This one feels perfectly round. These two feel like they're just a little bit off center. So I'm going to turn a little more away or true them up just a little bit more uh, before I can continue on and start turning them into cones. And I'm happy that they're trued up fairly well. What I'm going to do is turn the camera off, clean all this uh, stringy stuff up, get it all cleaned off my lathe, come back, and we'll turn these into uh, the conical shapes that we need to help them self-center on any size uh, brass tube. All right, I got everything cleaned up. Um, I'm basically just going to turn these down. Okay, I bottomed out on that one. It's hard to see in the video, but I'm right next to the the um, bushing. You also know I, I bumped a couple times and kind of scarred it up, but you know what? That's not going to hurt a thing. I got plenty of meat back here. As these get chewed up, I can go ahead and just trim down and uh, take the chewed up area off, and I'll get a lot of use out of these. So I'm going to clean this up so you can see the bushing a little better on this side, and then I'll start working on some of the others. I like the way this stuff is turning. Uh, it, it actually turns much easier than acrylic it's just extremely soft um, the worst part is obviously um, all these little strings getting caught around your mandrel just going to use a razor knife obviously nothing fancy there cut these they cut very easy and uh, get them out of my way and there you can see I'm right down to the bushing so this is going to work out great let me go ahead and get the, the next one turned. they may not be beautiful but I guarantee you they are highly functional uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up a little bit where I got a couple of gouges in it just kind of kind of uh, true it up a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and toss a pin on here or a pin blank and uh, see how well they do centering it up with these being conical shaped they self center on the blank and basically you can wipe your CA glue finish right on if you get any on these it doesn't stick as they get gummed up or chewed up, I can take my uh, my skew and just basically freshen up the edges of them. And these are going to last a really long time. They're not pretty, but they are highly functional. I'd like to offer a very sincere thank you to each and every one of you for joining me in the shop today and watching my video. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, it's amazing what has happened with my channel. I absolutely love it. I'm having a good time. Um, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I produce a video once about every two weeks. This was a really quick and really fun project. I would say you could probably do this in about 20 minutes. Uh, just a little longer, 
with the video because you know you're stopping setting up shots but i've got one two sets of these and i'm going to give these away to one of you if you're a subscriber leave me a comment and say bob i'd like to have those and uh i'm not going to do anything big and elaborate like i did on the pin giveaway when i do my next video and a week, two weeks, whenever that is. Um, I'll take all the names of the subscribers who left a comment saying they want them, and um, I'll just draw a quick name at the beginning of my next video, give these away, and like I said, they're not pretty, uh, but they're very functional. They self-center. You can use your own skew or any tool you have to clean them up when they get chewed up, and uh, you know, these would be great for you if, you're a, if you are a, uh, a pen turner. The, the real beauty of them is, uh, if you've ever used CA glue with an aluminum bushing and you basically uh, wipe that glue along the bushing to the pin blank, sometimes when you take the bushing off, it will chip your blanks. And man, there's nothing worse than screwing up a blank that you put so much time and effort into. So guys, thank you for joining me today. You are always welcome in my shop. Hey, send those comments in and uh, let me just give these away to somebody. Love hearing from you. Leave me a comment and uh, you guys have a great day.